Okay. Can you ready? This is the booba guys. You need to give a little heart and love to to booba lovers because if they don't win, Team D and Men do. So what does the rest of the teams have to say to our booba lovers before they get into this? this They're really not that good. You guys yeah, got we it. Love boobas. You love boobas. You love boobas. Missed the 500k. That's all I gotta say. My favorite boobas. Not that good. Never. Oh. <laughs> Someone's got an ego check, Jay. You guys got it. <laughs> I mean, he is the All most right. expensive player in the tournament. My team lose? We lost one game, but we didn't have half our team. Like, half our team wasn't there. Uh, is team picked yet? Oh, is Zito going to play jungle? Well, this will be interesting. Let's go smash some heads. Enemy in sight. Good for a shot from Arch, by the way. So this is our first actual C at, uh, at Junger Queen. One wasn't awake. Yes, Ruben was not awake. So you actually see what Yidl's doing. He's trying to time his knife when Quake gets aggressive and like punches in. Shots. I think if they actually are playing anything other than Doom, they'd probably be beating the Queen comp. But because Doomfist inherently just doesn't do well versus other CC, having the the, the knife pull really just kind of like he keeps, keeps pulling them out of position a little bit, you know. Arjun gets another pick. They really they really have to go kill this Ana. Let's keep him alive. Oh, he gets pulled out of position. Whoa, what at Wanted. I wanted to try and real hard there. I do think it's going to be really tough, though, for this team to, to hold them. Although, second point is legitimately built. It's built here for um, Quake and Wanted and Eevee's team. Um, more than it is Yidl's team here. But we'll see. We'll see. I am happy to see a little bit of Queen play, though. We haven't seen any Queen play yet this entire tournament. Uh, quick. I mean, uh, Fresh One just got rolled. Armori. Armori just went nuts. So did, uh. Oh, hang on. They're, they're, I'm on the wrong ones. Oh, Jay's dead. No one knew that. So they're forgiving. Get the hack off and the sleep. Oh my god, Quake's not having a good day. Oh my god. Stay on the pylon. Oh, Jay gets the pick. Quake falls off the map. Okay. Interesting. You know, watching this, I feel a lot better about my own throwing knives because I feel like I don't hit them very often, but it doesn't seem Needle hits them like consistently either. So I think a lot of people just need to learn. Uh, Jung, thanks for the three gifts. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Oh. Oh, oh man, that actually could have been a massive ult, but. Trank. It's one. Questron goes to help follow up to get to get two. Jay gets another. He'll just shot something. I don't even know what he shot at, and they died. Must have been Eevee, because Eevee died on the kill cam or the kill feed, but I didn't even see that. I don't know how he target acquired that that fast. I mean, I just wasn't looking. But uh, it's going to be real tough for Quake's team here. Real tough. This is not the point for Doomfist. I mean, it's okay. It's not terrible. Uh, when people ask me how does Doomfist play, I kind of see, I say to you like a mobile rhyme. Um, you play it sort of like Raleigh, but with the ability to get in and out quickly. Um, so it's not exactly a dive comp hero, but it isn't like a, you know, run forward with May, cast, 
Lucio kind of comp. It's like this little hybrid where, you know, it's a little bit tough sometimes to, to figure out where the Doomfist should be. That's why I think he does really well in like control slash uh, push because it's kind of like a death match, you know? Oh, this is the easy knife. Quake's getting kind of rolled there. He's anti. Oh, they pop? Wow, they actually pop Sojourn all. Wow, Wanda gets two. Wanda's going in? Wanda gets three? And they punch. Gets four. Dude, Wanda, hello? That's actually a good punch. Oh. Jago, Jay gets actually rolled again. Nothing new there. But this is actually a really tough point for them to get through. They don't have any shielding. So, actually, even though the, the, the Doomfist comp isn't that good here, the Junker Queen comp isn't that great either. So it's mostly just down to a battle of picks between the two DPS of each team. R is getting huge damage and huge EMP, but there's not really a whole lot of follow-up to that. Now, here it is. Now, this is what they needed. A huge Junker Queen ult. A knife stick. Yep. This, that is as good as it gets, honestly. Holy heck. Now... I don't think they're gonna have a good retake. Oh, never mind. They get a pick. They get a, that's a huge pick. That's actually really bad. That is really bad for Yidl's team. But they get Quake. Did they get the res? They did not get the res. Huge nano. Yeah, that. If they got that res off, they would have been able to cap that. But the reason I thought that they weren't, they were gonna or have a hard time retaking this, which they did. Even after the pick was because they had no ults. They burned all their ults and they still had Nano coming up, which they got. Nano the Queen and uh, just kind of cleaned up from there. So I would not be surprised if this is going to stay in the Eagles team's favor. Just because Doom is kind of tough to play, especially now. They nerfed him really, really hard. Still v absolutely doable, but uh, just tougher what they're running. Attackers incoming. So, Gidal actually is playing the Orisa here. Wait, did he just get a, he just got a double double spear? This is nice. So, okay, for those who don't know, Orisa actually is an amazing counter pick to Doomfist. Why? Because he can't block her punch. I mean, sorry, he can't block her spear. The spear goes through the block, so it's a hard CC. And on top of that has Fortify to really just hard stop the Doom Punch. So this is kind of the anti get quaked on comp. Um, I don't even know if they really even needed to do this. I think this is just the nail in the coffin. And Yido probably felt like playing a little Orisa. Because Orisa is just not that good. But she does have a niche. Her niche is anti-Doom. But Doom's not good. So anti, you know... Uses Fortify a little late. Yeah, it gets anti, takes a lot of damage. You gotta use Fortify early on Arissa so you get the full maximum value out of her armor. If you don't Fortify early, that whole armor pool at the front really doesn't mean shit. But I understand wanting to keep it as long as he can. See, now this is where you see Arissa's weakness though is you can't do anything about the Ananade, right? Like, yeah, you can eat it technically with your spinny spear, but one, the chances you actually have it online are slow because that's basically part of your survivability kit, right? Like, they removed Orisa's shield, so how do you stay alive as Orisa without a shield? Well, they added the spinny spear, so you have to use a spinny spear, kind of like how you would shield, shield sometimes, as a survivability tool, not as like an eating ults tool, kind of like Defense Matrix. Um, so it's a lot harder to use her um, in a lot of ways. Right there, no, that displacement, that's another way you can use it. It uses like a, instead of an anti-ult or anti-cooldown tool, it's just displacement that also catches them, you know? 
like running straight at these people and they, they can't do anything. It just knocks them back, absorbs all the damage, and you're good to go. But, oh my god. See, this is, you know, is using horses to the best of her abilities right now. Oh, what a spear! What the hell? Wait, if you were just only watching this, you'd think Arissa's good! It's like a budget Ryan, uh, maybe like a like a really budget Ryan. Like if Ryan, if Ryan was in really down bad. Now I think Yido might have fed here because uh, he's a little deep, but you know what? I respect the commitment for the for the funsies. Uh, is Jay alive? Yes, Jay is dead again. Nothing new there. That's mom saying we have Ryan at home. Yeah, no, that's Ryan at home, but it's in the basement. Nobody's used it for 10 years. Good time bank, though, for uh, race team here. But yeah, look at this bully. Look, look at this. What, what do you do against that? Now, I think Yido probably should have tried to run for his life. I think I, I understand the play. He was trying to, like, only be hit by one of the dragons. So if you're only getting hit by one of the dragons instead of both, you take less damage. Greetings. He was hoping to probably get supported through it, because dropping is basically a death sentence. However, though, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, uh, no ults coming up here, so it's gonna be a little tough to, to take this fight. It's gonna be anti again here in a sec. There it is. This is why Arista just isn't very good, you know? And this is how... Th this game honestly should not be this close, but playing Arista is making it this close, realistically, because... Uh, the Ana on the other side can't really secure many kills except for, like when you bully people into the corner. Okay, here's the Junker Queen swap. Here's a good swap because Junker Queen has a much more stopping power and ability to get some kills and help out your teammates uh, than Arissa. Arissa just overall just pretty bad. Uh, Lentala. Lentala thanks to the tier one. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, now we're serious. Beetle has whipped out the ball. Huge pile drive in an E. Gets so much over shields. Still feeling pretty healthy. Not for much longer, though. If he takes any more damage, and holy hell, the swap comes in a little bit late. I think it's time Yeetle stops fucking around on the Orissa and starts playing either some Junker Queen or uh, some Ball. You know, I think that is probably the best bet for them. But I actually want uh, Quake's team to win here because we lost to Yeetle's team in the first round. Uh, I had to play DPS, uh, and so did uh, Beaver. So we had none of our DPS players. Now our DPS players are here. Uh, so if we replay Jay and Yeetle's team here, I guarantee we smoke them. So I'd like to see Quake's team win. Um, but I have a feeling that Yeetle's done f***ing around. Alright, here we go. This is actually kind of a close game. I'd be interested to see uh, how they want to play this. Interesting. Yeetle does not walk through because he's not full HP there. Decides to chill. I think he's trying to hit a knife. Ooh, he does hit one, but wasn't enough. And plus, he took too much damage. Wanted's gonna get comboed. Oh, but but Quake actually forces him back out. Armori gets the kills. Evie gets the kills. Holy hell, this apart line is popping. Oh, here it is. This is kind of what I expected. This is kind of what I expected. A ball pick. Here we go. Ooh, going to set up in the back. You know, that, that rollout gets gives me so much anxiety. I know he should be fine. You know, he knows how to do it. Needle is a trained professional. Uh, but still just, man, it's scary. Oh, here we go. The setup has begun. The sleep dart has been used. Oh my god, the boopage. Oh, Wanted has orbs, so cannot fight that. Has to run. Gets the touch. Train professional gets the touch. Make sure no C9 inch. Sleep dart! Evie sleep dart! Holy shit! What a sleep! Hold on, who's still alive? 
What a sleep. Oh my god. Is Jay gonna touch? He does get the touch, but he, pu he gets punched off. And he nice. 500. Okay, blink. Oh my god, whoa. <laughs> what a fucking blink, dude! Good job. If they if they get a tick in three minutes, then it's two. Then they're we're all tied. Doesn't Ido win anyway since they won in the heads up? But we also beat the team that beat them. So like, not really. There's an argument to be made on both sides. And they also beat us in the heads up. We didn't have a full team. If you want to talk about teams at their full strength? We were not at it, so I think we have a better argument. Why does it say internal server error? Where? I'm assuming. Oh, Yo got really aggressive. He doesn't have cooldowns. How is he going to get out? Oh, they're not pressuring him. Oh my god, they actually didn't pressure him at all. He actually could have easily died there. Top middle? I don't see anything. Play your TikToks and wanted to try and catch a stream? Oh no. Wait, is this the actual first person who's ever found me from a TikTok? Excuse me? It's the first one ever. Yo, someone make a note. Wait, wait, they're, wait, they're about to cap! Wait, they're about to cap! Wait! I blinked! What happened? They... They lost! We're in it! We're back in the running! Hold on, I gotta, I gotta unmute and go back. It was J3's fault, right? <laughs> yeah, dude, you should have seen he blinked yeah, right into a wall. Yeah, it was J3's fault, right? 500k yeah. blink! 500k blink! <laughs> you saw that? Yeah, yeah, I did! Oh, Wait, yeah, yeah. I, I, I recalled! What do you want blink, me to do, He blinked into a fucking yeah, wall! Boy. What do you mean? Hey, at least I'm playing my games instead of sitting on the bench! <laughs> dude, you spectated too! Uh -huh. I also am giving, them, I'm giving everyone a chance to play! I think I think Jay's getting a little self-conscious about me letting everybody else play. I was laughing the whole last game. What? No, I mean about let me letting everyone else play.